We are going to go ahead and take a look at and review the Sente Optimus Black PC Gaming Case. It is a very affordable PC gaming case. It only costs 70 bucks, uh, including shipping on eBay. I really like it because it has it comes with four uh, very nice cooling fans, and you don't get very much uh, PC, PC cases that come with four cooling fans, which I'll show you in a bit. This uh, PC case is screwless. Actually, you do not need. Um, screwdrivers for this it comes with thumb screws like this you just use your thumbs and I'll show you the bays inside the hard drive uh, trays and everything is all screwless and uh, you don't need a like I said you don't need a, a screwdriver for this case let's go ahead and take a look at the inside the side panel comes off really easy once you take off the thumb screws just slide it out and it comes right out and you can right away notice the gigantic cooling fan on the side which keeps it really really cool and we have the um, second cooling fan here which goes in the back the third one which goes in the on the uh, top of the case and then we have the fourth one which goes in front of the case right here that's the front of the case and this case has two ports for USB the power button is in the front, reset switch is there also. We have a knob and this is for the fans. Uh, the highest setting, the faster the fans will turn and keep your computer cooler. And when you turn it down, it will slow down the fans and eventually turn them off. I usually like to keep it all the way up. That way it keeps my uh, all my stuff cool. If you notice, I don't know if you already noticed, I have a very gigantic video card in there. That's the reason why I keep my fans on high. I have custom fans on there. You can tell they're zip tied. <laughs> I really did not like the OEM fans on this video card. So I went ahead and um, installed those zip tie ones. The video card that I have is a, a MSI R7950. A lot of people use like to use that card for gaming. Now. Like I said, um, the card snaps on really easy without using a screwdriver by using this, by using these right here. And if I wanted to take off the card, all I really got to do is go on this side and snap this like that. And this card uses two of them actually, that's how big this card is. You need to use two um, slots here. And really easily, like just like that. You can snap in and out cards. For example, this card right here. This is my Ethernet card. If it came out, let's go ahead and put it back in. So the card is back on. So now I could just latch it back on. All right. Same thing goes with the CD and DVD drives. I can just turn it to the right here. It'll come right off. I just put it back on and lock it into place. Bam, just like that. You can just lock things back into place. Same thing with the hard drives. I have two hard drives on here, a 500 gig hard drive and a two terabyte. This right here is a 500 gig. You just press on these um, latches right here and it just slides right out. And on the side of the actual hard drive, there is no screws, it, you, it just snaps into place, which is awesome. And click, it just goes right in, which makes it really, really easy. Now, the thing I don't like about this case is that it has the power supply uh, slot or uh, space on the bottom. I don't like to have my power supply on the bottom because um, it doesn't get very good airflow. The fan for this 1200 watt power supply, which generates a bunch of freaking heat, is in the bottom. And that's why I use that thing down there to uh, to keep space on the bottom here for the, for the PC case so it can breathe. So that's the only one thing I don't like about this PC case is that it has the power supply on the bottom, not on top. I would rather have it on top, that way it can breathe a lot better. Alright guys.
We are gonna go ahead and open up the other side. I wanna show you guys the excellent cable management you can do with this PC case. It has this, um, the space in the back, so in these holes, so you can bring in the wires and put them over here. So it has these holes so you can wire everything on the back so that in the front, there isn't very much wires. If you notice, all my wires go in there and they come out through the bottom. Of course, I have all these other wires down here. That's inevitable. Those are, are gonna be showing, especially this one. This one didn't reach all the way around. But, uh, but for the most part, all the wires are good. One thing about this box is the Molex cable. The Molex uh, adapter is really, really weak, and it could come right off the, uh, the Molex piece. What I'm talking about is these right here. You see how those cables are in there. These right here, which I'm pointing with my thumb. Uh, when you plug it in, sometimes it will pop these out of place. And that's the whole reason why I had to uh, actually slice the wires and wire it myself and use tape. Because these Molex adapters that come with this case will sometimes come off. So that's another uh, thing I don't like about this box. Other than it being a very uh, in inexpensive box, comes with a lot of fans. And uh, apart from that, I'm really happy with this case. I want to give this case a, a good review. But um, I'm going to take off some points on the review because of the Molex adapter. That can ruin your day right there because this connects to all the PC fans on the case. And the power, su it's power supply being, being at the bottom. So out of five stars, I give this case, I would say four stars. I would give it four because of those two problems. And the good things about it is that it's only 70 bucks. It comes with everything you need, the, the fans and uh, the space for your uh, for your rig or gaming um, devices, you know, for your video card. This is a big video card, and you know, I was able to fit it in here. So, so it's got a lot of space. This is a medium-sized tower, so it's got a lot of space. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm always posting new videos on new. Uh, gadgets, electronics, and everything. Like the video. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.